everyone, welcome back. I'm standing, it's just gonna be easier. <laughs> All right, Foxy Charm. What the hell month is it? March. Uh, it's called Lucky. Not really. <laughs> This is probably the first time I've, I'll actually ever really be complaining about boxy. I'm really not thrilled with either of these boxes this month. It's just weird. Usually, it's, you know, it's pretty good. I love the pop-up shop, don't get me wrong, but the crap in here is just, mm-mm, mm-mm. All right, in the premium box, uh, yoga, common, clean, Epsom salt, hand, and body wash. This supposedly resells for $39.95. 40 bucks. Not, no, no. It does smell like lavender. And it's only 8 ounces. I, I don't need fucking hand wash. It costs $40. <laughs> no. It's a decent hand wash, and I'm just going to throw it in the bathroom and use it in there, but uh, ridiculously priced there. From Glow Skin Beauty, Hydra Bright Alpha Arbutin Drops. Lactic Acid plus Alpha Arbutin Brightening Serum. I'm always down for some skincare, which is fine. Uh, the Glow Skin retails for $54. <laughs> I think that's overpriced for that, too. Uh, what else do we get here? This is one of the things I did like. Uh, Jouer Essential Lip Enhancer. It's a lip balm. This costs $17. Leaving the two worst products for last. This one I actually really like. This is from Rowan. I'm probably destroying that name. R-O-E-N. Called Kiss My Liquid Lip Balm. So it's really just liquid lip balm. So, you know, you know what I mean. This retails for $26. This is nice. That I like. And I tried it on my lips. It was very nice. This is just, I thought this was like I was being punked. Like, this is a joke. Okay. Beauty Diva London. Diva Eye Brush Set. You guys know I bitch about brushes. <laughs> These are cheap-ass, hollow, plastic. You would find these at the dollar store. You were never going to believe what these cost. They have they, four brushes, $48. No, absolutely not. It, it says they're cruelty free. That's fine. These are just, oh my God. No, 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 no. Normally I, I wouldn't even, I'm not even going to give these to my girlfriends. That's how cheap these are. I'd be embarrassed to give these to my friends. So I actually need to repaint my mailbox and repaint my numbers on it. So I'm going to use these to paint the numbers on my mailbox. Because they are worth $4. Let alone $48. That was just... It gets worse. <laughs> oh my god. Kypris. I know I've gotten skincare from them. It came in a blue bottle. And I think I used the whole thing up. It was fine. So there's this little kit here. Kypris made for each other illumination and active shimmer. It says illuminating eye serum and primer. And then a shimmer palette. Just the box again. All right. You can just see through the back. This product, I cannot get it to suck up into the thing here. It's so thick. It, this is gross. There's no way I'm putting this on my eye, but it's such a thick product that you can't get it to suck up into the, the dropper. First off. And you get these little eyeshadows here. These here. Okay. I'll give you swatches. Well, there's the first four. There's the fifth one. Now, the thing with this eyeshadow. <laughs> oh, the price.
price of these two? $145. My ass. This is going right in the garbage. And so is this. You can see these swatch. It's like they're just toppers at this point. The thing that got me was, this is now it says, made exclusively for BoxyCharm. That's fine. Not for resale. Don't care. This only has a shelf life of three months. Well, it ain't going to have a shelf life of three days in this house. Between this and this, are going right into there. And like I said, the brushes, I'm just going <laughs> to paint my mailbox with them. There's no way that that crappy palette and that eye primer is $145. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. That's the first box. That's out of the way. Now we'll go into the Lux box. This is a little better. It's a little better. Not much, but a little. Oh my god, I got hair falling out of here. It's been one of those days. Alright, you get this brush here. So it's teardrop shaped. Brushes like this are, you know, you can find something very similar to this on Amazon. It's just round and maybe doesn't have this like holder thing. This, these brushes here are extremely dense. It's better more for putting on body makeup and powder products because trying to get foundation out of brushes like this are a nightmare because they are so tightly packed. I mean, this took forever to dry. And, you know, I have drying systems and all that for my brushes. This brush here, I think they put more into the box. It's Eloise Mini Teardrop Brush. I mean, the, it actually shows up like, it's sitting in its, you know, this fancy-ass box. This brush supposedly costs 45 bucks. I wouldn't give you $45 for it either. Like I said, on Amazon, you can find the same similar type of brush for 5 bucks. So, yeah, th this was the first one. Yeah, $45. Yeah, yeah. These I picked because some of the things we get to pick occasionally through Boxy. So this is Sonage Icy Globes. These things here, and these you don't. These ones say don't put them in the freezer. Like I have the frozen ice rollers that I keep in the freezer. So this is more in the refrigerator. I can't wait to have these in the fridge and drive Greg crazy. But these, once they're chilled in the morning, you can just, you know, roll it around your eyes and do whatever. You got the idea of these. But I know that was, like, I picked that item. Those are worth 60 bucks, which they're not worth that either. But, uh, yeah, we'll take it. All right, th this is fabulous. I'm down with this 100%. I already have one. This is a backup. Uh, Glow Recipe Plum Plump Hydrolonic Serum. It's the one that looks like a little plum. I should have brought mine down, but I don't have it. The Glow Recipe is 42 worth every dime. <laughs> Let me get that brush out of the way. All right. Another one that's decent. Uh, Skin Ink Supplement Bar. My Daily Dose of Glow. Illuminate and Brighten. I already have one of these. I use it with that. Um, They have the light-up system thing where it has all the LED lights and I can change it from like yellow to orange to purple to blue and all that and then you run it all over your face and I've used this the serum upstairs with that system. But this here runs $65 which is pricey but you catch it in the pop-up shop for a lot cheaper. <laughs> Another item not bad decent color uh, Dominique Cosmetics creamy fill and define lip liner. Obviously I already have a, this is Huda Beauty moody on my lips this is called um crush so it has a teardrop shape to it oh these are huda swatches on my hand too but right. those are huda swatches but nice lip liner love dominique cosmetics so glad to have that the dominique runs probably about seven eighteen dollars um not that I use beauty blenders, but I might keep two and give the rest away. The Beauty Bakery Blending Eggs. I know I've bought these for Gina in the past when I was doing like a Beauty Bakery order. And she says they make really good sponges. And this one's cute. Um, 
they actually, these all came individually wrapped. Like the ones I bought were probably, I think they were originally black. So now you got green and pink. And it is cute how they make it. Like, you know, it's a curtain. <laughs> but my girl Gina likes them. That's good. And these run about 18 bucks, I think. Yep, $18. Which is a great deal for six beauty blenders. Like I said, I'll probably keep a pink and a green and put the rest away. Okay, the last two are definitely hell no. Uh, what is this called? A-M-N-H Skincare. Okay, it's on there. Kiss the Stars 24K Gold Lip Plumping Mask. It does have biodegradable glitter, thank God. I tried it, it was gross. And the glitter was like stuck to my damn lips. It's got like that micro glitter in it. I think it's spearmint. Spearmint, peppermint. Ugh. Yeah. Glitter should not be in any skincare, period. Even if it's just a lip mask, it's, yeah. It did have a little tingling sensation. Very light though. I mean, I could take it you know, with a real burn. And this, this is just a disaster, too. Oh, the lip mask, what did I tell you that? That's, oh, yeah, and the best part about this lip mask, it's not the best part, this little sucker has, what is it, one, three, two ounces? One ounce? Yeah, there's about an ounce of product in here. $42. No. No, no, no. I don't mean to bitch this whole video, but it is what it is. Like I said, I rarely ever have anything to bitch about with these, but man, these just, just sucky fucking items. All right, this one is from B Beauty London. That's the name out there. Barbarella eyeshadow palette. I can't believe this is $50. Okay, this is the front of the palette. What do we have, ladies? A big neutral palette with a pop of blue. <laughs> I mean, th this is just... Mm -mm. You have four matte shades out of all this. This brown, the blue, the black, which isn't even really black. Oh, and this tan shade, this Oliver. The rest of these are all shimmery. You can see I've already swatched them all. And I'm completely confused because on the back it says glitter. That one of these, they're supposed to be glitter and they, I, I can't find the shadow that has glitter. But what I can tell you is <laughs> these shades are so light and so similar that it, this is a waste of a palette. I mean, pretty much these four shades here. All right, we're going to go Luca, Chase, I'm going to go straight down. Pablo, and I'm going to add in this other orangey kind of coppery shade here at the bottom. So this whole row right here, this whole second row. Look at these. Did I get all the swatches off me? Probably not. I mean, these are way, way too close. Look at that. And that's just those four. Then you have this whole bunch of whiteness down here. I'm going to do these three. One, two, three. And like I said, I've already swatched them all. I don't know where the glitter is. This one does have where it kind of shifts pink. The quality is not there. It's just not there. What the hell are shades matched? It was like this is Zachary, Mo. And then we'll do Nick. I don't want to swatch this whole goddamn palette. All right, it's kind of like these two match and these two match. Here, we'll just go over here. Let's 
swatches from the other video. It's just a joke. It's a joke. The blue, it's it's all right. There. But not for fifty dollars. Oh, you you're just getting like. You go to put these on your eyes, they're all going to look exactly the same. I mean, this is sad. And I hate to bash a company, this Bee Beauty. I, I've never heard of them, but I don't want you guys to put out $50 on a palette that's basically the same colors just over and over again. Or it's such a slight, slight difference that they could have made this like a nine pan and been fine. It's, yeah. That's it. I'm done. I like some of it, but a lot of it's just what a disaster. And I, like I said, I really bitch about these boxes. I love boxy. I've been with boxy for years. I'm not going anywhere. Which is odd of, you know, and I want to try new brands. I love trying new brands, but not, no. No. No, 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 no. And some of the prices are just ridiculous, too. All right, there you go. Hope you liked my little bitch fest. Did I get lucky in March? Not really. <laughs> I got some good products, without a doubt, but... The bulk of it, no. All right. Everyone have a fabulous week. I will see you all very soon. <laughs> Bye.